All right, hey, we're at the Bootlegger Bistro, famous place here in Las Vegas, for Bruce Kulik's 70th birthday party. This is gonna be fantastic. What do you think? Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's here. Okay, so here we are at Bootleggers, my, my favorite place, with some of my dearest people. Oh, don't film me, I get so nervous. Anyway, um, you're doing good, Bruce. You're doing it really good. means a lot for all of you to be here, of course. Okay, I want to thank you so much. You know, I just turned 70 today, technically, isn't my birthday, Woo! but you knew that. Yeah. 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 And I'm glad I made it. Okay. Yeah. You know, I'm also glad 69. that I made it to my party because I'm a warrior, okay? No. And, no. And, and, yeah, no. 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 You guys know me, that's why you're here. And and just just to, you know, be healthy and well and be able to enjoy this evening with, with some very special people to me uh, is amazing. It's really a thrill. I was nervous about it and so excited. And really, my dearest people are here, even though I did invite some others that thought they could make it and couldn't. But you guys mean the world to me, okay? And it's so special. Now, turning 70, I got to tell you, um, it did make me look at life a little differently. Okay, I'm starting, I'm being more reflective and looking forward to all the wonderful things I can do. Okay, and uh, 2024 is an exciting number and year for me, and I'm really looking forward to doing much more of what I want to do with the people I want to do things with. Okay, be with people like you. Okay. Um, because I think it's really important. Time is precious, and, and you don't know, you know, whatever is going to happen in life. So I just want to really enjoy that time. Now, I have the best support system in the world with my loving wife, Lisa. And I want to... and, yeah. Now, that smile just lights up my, my world, just totally. And, and um, she's thrilled, because I am going to be home much more coming nice. in, in January. Um, you know, some of you already know, but my schedule is not going to look the same, okay? It's, yeah, and that's great. Um, just but, say it. Oh, no, it's just I, I, I got off the train, okay? I'll just put it that way. You guys will figure it out. So, so ultimately, besides being creative and being able to do what I want to do when I want to do it, a lot of that's also involving, you know, having fun with people like that are here. I can come visit some friends some more and hang out and do wonderful things, okay? So I'm really looking forward to all that, and I have the best partner possible to do that with, of course, because Lisa and I are so great. Eric, behave, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he can't help he is behaving. We, we can play with our stereos, and yeah. I, I might pull out the old Lionel train set for us. And get on that one. Anyway, and by the way, it's great to see you. Actually, you've been so busy, and congratulations for sort of surviving. Yeah. <laughs> you survived too. You survived too, exactly. So we got a lot to catch up on. And personally, with everybody here, this has been the easiest way to see everybody. Obviously, throw a party, they will come, right? But um, it's just just a, a wonderful feeling to have you all here. And I, I wish all of you, of course, you know, a wonderful holiday season and 2024. May everything be amazing and wonderful. And I want to, of course, thank my, my loving wife, Lisa, for making a great party like this possible. Now, you know she's yeah. incredible with the event stuff and display, and I don't think any of you are even aware of how hard she works at this, but you got to see all this detail. I'm going to let her explain some of the fun things besides <laughs> the amazing dessert and stuff, but I'll, I'll give away a few things. There's guitar picks in every one of those things. Please take these little chocolates home, okay? There's going to be cakes. Oh, the, the cake is coming, too. Of course, there's cannoli from... Uh, bootleggers, which is remarkable, but she, you know, we all know my, my, my mob guys from the cruise band, those black and white cookies, yeah. okay? oh, yeah. oh, and she oh, makes yeah. a black and white cookie oh, yeah. cake. Well, that's a surprise. It's Oops, uh, it's not, it's not <laughs> okay. I, I think with this crowd, we gotta like really, leave, you know, breadcrumbs aren't gonna work. Right? Just lay it on the head, you know, just hit them over the head with it, okay? So, there's gonna be a black and white cookie cake, okay? Woo! Which is, no, no one makes that except for my wife. Mm. And then she handmade all these amazing cookies, I know some of the guys are very familiar with them, and uh, you know there's no pancakes here. It doesn't work <laughs> for this, you know. But um, and then uh, yeah, and then she has a, a really cool picture of me from Animal Eyes era playing this Silver Charvel 1984 that um, we showed in '85 or whatever. And then she'd like everybody to sign it. We have the silver pans, okay. And then she'll do her bling art to it, maybe after. Maybe. 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 Yeah. And what else am I forgetting that they should know about? Brent's father. That's very cool. And Brent's dad's here. This is really wonderful. 
Just here to make him look good. Merv, did you know that Lisa said, get up. His dad is here. Go see him. I'm like, I'm eating. Okay, I'll get up. Okay. <laughs> I had to look up again. Yes, that's true. That's true. No, it's wonderful that you're getting to spend so much time with Brent. And, you know, we talk a lot about family and parents and everything. And, uh, you know, I, I'm there for counseling for anybody when you're going through it. Because I, I, I actually went through an incredible experience with, you know, Alice and Harry. And I have no regrets about any of it. And, and it's just... The, you know, life carries on, but family is so important. And I have a family with Lisa. And some of you might know about uh, her, her son, you know, Anthony, who's married to this wonderful girl, Megan. And we get along great. They come and visit. Now I can go visit them more, too, because they don't live that far. They just didn't. You know, and then, uh, how did you know that? I really want to get a dog. I do. I really told you. I do. See, now we've got to make it real. And he's going to be bigger than Rupert. No, I'm not sure. I don't know what to do with Rupert. You know. maybe, maybe whatever. You know. You know uh, are but you, are I, you yeah. going to name your dog Abba? No, I will not name the dog Abba. Uh, well, how about Eric? Yay! Yeah. Eric. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know about a name yet. I don't. You figure that out later on, of course. But and what can I say other than again, thank you so much. Is is there any details about the party? You, you got know, it. I got it all. Yeah, you got it. The cake, the yeah, signing of that. Please sign it. It really, it really mean a lot to me. You know, it's not that big a party here, but it's perfect size. And um, I know that uh, some of you are involved with a lot of new, you know, events still coming up and family to see. But just remember that you had bootleggers on me. No. Yeah. Now, how about if you want to roast me again? Uh, there's a microphone. Oh, there. please. <laughs> Actually, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, I knew. I knew I'm not going to lie. Eric, Eric, you want to hear uh, uh, words uh, about your your dear Jerry's friend? I didn't get to see it, so I had like an encore performance. Yeah, encore. Uh, yeah, uh, he had it scripted. Actually, most of the room has. Come on, Emma. Come on. You see, last year we put on a fan event. You know, it was a VIP um, right. New Year's Eve experience with the, with Bruce Kulick. You know, and there were four events. It was pretty cool. We actually did uh, uh, the last night, New Year's Eve, at the Copa Room, the bigger room here. And that became the Bruce Gillick Roast, too. It was ridiculous. <laughs> and I, I had fun roasting my band and everybody out there. Hal Sparks was there. And, Wait, Zach pleaded and, uh, the fifth Courtney, that night. Maybe I did you know, to redeem Courtney himself. Yeah. Yeah. Zach took the fifth. I took the fifth. He needs to redeem himself, himself tonight. Yeah, yeah. I know. Come on, and, Zach. And you, you actually did very well, Brent. I was really impressed. Well, I had props. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, props, yeah. Props. But Abba had the biggest, longest speech, just ripping me a new a-hole, you know, about everything in my life. It's pretty easy, actually, when you know me. I'm not, you know, I'm not that... You know, uh, you know, edgy, but you know, you can have fun. Brent had Morning. a lot of fun. Everyone's and everything. Eric, you would have liked it. I have some of it on audio. I got to share. I need to hear it. I know. I think it was. I think I have my. I think speech. you I'm should go sure up there. Go. I have mine. But yeah, you do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's available uh, from the Kiss World. Yeah, yeah. Go. Yeah. Bruce, on a scale of one to ten, I give you a strong J. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And that could be delivered by an avatar of Abba. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not by Eric. No. <laughs> Wait, is, is the real Eric here tonight? The real Eric is. Brad wants to know is the real We're Eric not sure if the real Eric is here. This, this is the avatar Eric. Avatar. What does that sound like? Yeah, yeah. All right, now we're going down that slippery slope. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to go further with that one? No. no. One. Anyway, but um, again, this is just amazing. So what's next, honey? Uh, the cake, they bring dessert. And make sure that whoever doesn't have enough food, please, there's more food, or take some home or whatever. This is great, right? That's it? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now you're officially allowed. To, you're officially allowed to crap your pants. Right? Lisa, you go directly pens on the situation. Uh, but I'm wise, right? Yes.
So good. Yeah. Bruce, you're allowed to crap your pants now. You're 70. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, 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 they'll be funny. Start when you, tomorrow. Yeah, when you, get, tomorrow. when you get racing stripes, <laughs> we'll, we'll understand why. <laughs> Wait, I gotta go take a ball and wipe my sleeve. I'm going to have to remember. Not really. Oh my god, I love it. My cheeks hurt. All right, that was Bruce Kulik's 70th birthday party. Dude doesn't look a day over 80. It's great. <laughs> Gave me all kinds of stuff. Look at this. I got gifts. He gave me a Bruce Kulik bobblehead and other stuff to take home with me. How fantastic is that? Happy birthday, Bruce. Thank you so much for all, all the fun stuff. And you're one of our Vegas Rockstar residents. Happy birthday. Subscribe to Video Bob because I know where you live, bitch.